Okay, so I have literally never ever made a video like this on my channel and I thought that, you know, it's 2020 and it's about time that I let you guys into my life and it's time that we get a little bit closer because I want you guys to understand that like I am just a person like everybody else and I've been through stuff. I don't have a hard time sharing my life story to anybody because everything that has ever happened to me has turned me into the person that I am today. So I feel like some people might feel like your life story is like too intimate to share, but you know, like I said, I wouldn't be who I am without it. There are obviously parts of it that I'm not going to go super in depth with and nobody's going to know every single detail of it, but like, I think it's good for everybody to know that I can relate to situations and maybe maybe we've all gone through the same stuff, shit, I don't even know. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. I was born on May 14th, 1999 in Lodi, California, so that makes me... 20 years old which is literally freaking crazy because i feel like i was just like 14 yesterday right after i was born well not too long after i was born my parents got married and shortly after that they decided to have my brother so me and my brother trenton are a year and a half apart and i think that was probably the best thing they could have done for me because i always had somebody that was there with me and i wouldn't trade him for the world for the first like five six years of life we were in my eyes at that time anyways i don't know how this was going from their perspective but from my perspective we were a pretty picture perfect family everything was relatively good and then when i was in second grade my parents decided that they um, needed some time apart so they separated my mom moved into a different house and they just you know those are some of my earliest memories they decided to give it another shot and uh, move us to uh, another set of town so I had to start a new school and a new house and I think it's very important that I include that I have always been or had always been an extremely shy kid like when I say extremely shy I mean like wouldn't talk to family members at holiday parties because I was scared that they were gonna like judge me or be mean to me I don't even know I would hide behind my parents like that's how shy I was as a kid and I wasn't shy around like people my own age but anyone like a few years older than me and up I couldn't do it like I literally would just shut down so yes starting a new school was a little bit difficult for me at first but I'm um, not when I got in the classroom it was pretty easy for me to make friends from then on out throughout elementary school I was a very very good kid my brother was the more difficult one out of the two of us I also did competitive gymnastics basically my whole life as much as I went to school I also went to gymnastics so I was kept very busy on top of gymnastics I also did tap and swim and then I started doing competitive cheer on and off for a few years and I was never bored to say the least it's very funny talking to people now about their like childhood memories like their elementary school memories because they're so different from mine because I had practice after school so I didn't get to like hang out and run around the neighborhood and do all this stuff that other kids my age were doing because I was so heavily involved in gymnastics that that just wasn't a thing for me but because I was so heavily involved in gymnastics I met so many more people like I said I was a very shy kid but when I came to competing on each event by myself I did completely fine and I really created a second family at my um, at my gym things were going well for a while and then middle school hit and kids let me just tell you I don't know how middle school is nowadays but like when I was in middle school kids were cruel I don't feel like people look at me and think that like I would have been bullied but I was 100% bullied in middle school and it was over something that didn't even happen it's a very sad time in my life but yes i was bullied in middle school and on top of that my parents also decided that it wasn't going to work and um they got divorced and i kind of saw it coming i remember at the time feeling like i was too old to be sad 
and I just kind of like suppressed those feelings which ended up not working out very well for me in the long run because there was a lot of things that were just pushed down so don't do that to yourself just talk to your parents I was one of those kids that like couldn't talk I feel like I couldn't tell anybody any of my problems when I was sick I didn't tell them when I didn't finish my homework I didn't tell them when I got in trouble I didn't tell them I would never tell them anything because I just wanted to be a good kid moving on to eighth grade by that time in middle school everything had kind of worked itself out and you know kids being kids you know you get over the stupid stuff that happens but uh yeah I decided that I wanted to try out for high school cheer and when I decided that I was also still doing competitive gymnastics and like I said I was there probably just as much as I was going to school and so every day after middle school I would literally go to practice and then come home it was very consistent all throughout elementary school and that up until up until that point of middle school anybody that's like heavily involved with like sports or you know hobbies you know that like the people that you do that stuff with you create like a bond and at that point like like I said they were like my second family and for me to know that it was like time for me to quit was so scary because I didn't want to tell my coaches that I was quitting and I didn't want to tell my teammates that I was leaving and you know at that point like other kids my age were because I mean in gymnastics you peak at like 16 and if you're not going to the Olympics and by that point you're not really you're not really going anywhere so I decided to uh, stop and I didn't know how to tell my coaches so I kind of just stopped showing up to practice which was awesome um, and I started doing high school cheer so I went into my high school years starting with cheer and my mom um, got pregnant with my sister and she had her my freshman year so I have a little sister who is six years old and I love her to death her name is Malia so the best thing to come out of my parents divorce is my sister I don't know where my life would be very different without her I should make like a high school freaking survival guide because that place is crazy man i had a great high school experience i had fun i went to parties i was a cheerleader i i did everything that i probably could do in high school i mean to a certain extent because i had a very 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 unhealthy relationship in high school um i mean i still am with him till this day and we have worked through so much and our relationship is completely different than it was then but it was literally terrible but we worked through it and we are here now but in terms of like friends and just high school in general like i said i had a great time by sophomore year i had like found my group of friends and we had really kind of like just stuck together and then by the end of my junior year start of my senior year i started realizing how toxic my relationship was and how toxic my friendships were and how unhealthy things were starting to get um it wasn't until after i graduated that i realized that um it was pretty bad and i'm glad that i was i was very happy to have moved on from all of that so loved high school but wouldn't go back um moving on to my first year in college i went to a junior college for the first semester which was very short-lived because my mom got sick so i stopped going to school and started taking care of my siblings because we came from a single parent household because i kind of broke ties with my dad over a certain situation we ended, we have rebuilt our relationship since yet, since then but um, it was hard I completely took over what my mom was doing and not that my brother needed much parenting but it was a lot to take on at 18 and thank god she got better and she is so much better now I was able to move out get an apartment start my youtube channel and now we are in the present and I have found my true friends. I have never been so content with who I am. I know what I want. I I've figured out that, you know, no matter where I am in life, no matter what I'm doing, like I am on my own path. If you guys have any questions for me or, you know, you want to know certain things about anything that was said, like don't hesitate to reach out and I'm talking really fast because my camera's about to die but um, if you made it all the way to the end which is right now because I led you all the way up until the present basically um, I love you guys so much don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you would like any more details on the story because that was pretty much just like the 
overall what's going on. Um, I would like to get them to you, but yeah, until next time.